Hey guys, not the most fun video to make here. Our beautiful oil change fuel filter. It started it, off well. It did, but it did nothing. It, it just got worse. We're currently, we're parked out in this mechanic, uh, this mechanics lot here. In Kalispell. Yes, in Kalispell and heads up, no mechanics are open on weekends. It's a Saturday, so we were actually excited to be like, okay, great, Saturday, let's find a mechanic, let's get it done, what it is. It is what it is, and that doesn't exist here. Yeah, I feel like I was expecting that on Sunday, but on a Saturday to not find anyone. Um, so we actually just happened to be in the area and we're like, hey, let's see if this Napa uh, shop is open. And they're not, but we're gonna stay here until Monday. They um, they open up first thing Monday. So pretty much we're borderline broken down because the fastest we can go is 45 miles per hour and it's not pretty. The RV's not in a happy state. So we feel not safe driving anywhere else. So even if we did pay a camp for a campground around here, I wouldn't feel comfortable driving there. Yeah. So we're pretty much just posted out here. So we're gonna take the bike off because today was supposed to be our grocery shop day. So we're gonna run some errands in the meantime and hopefully first thing Monday morning, we're really hoping the shop can help us I know. out. There's probably, I guess this place works on like government vehicles. Like there's like fire trucks and like police cars and stuff like that. So we'll see if maybe we can, uh, we can sweet talk our way to being yeah. more, more important than those. <laughs> yeah, more important uh, than an ambulance and a park ranger than yeah, a cop. There's it's probably, there's probably like 15 other vehicles parked here. Um, so I don't know how quick it's going to be, but fingers crossed. <sighs> Keep you guys posted. <laughs> So we are back in the RV, and as you can tell, Brendan is driving! Back on the road. So we are in way, way better spirits now that everything is working. So if you're curious what it was, turned out that we had a bad catalytic converter. So the symptoms that we had were was the engine rattling, loss of acceleration. Um, sometimes there was like jumping and shifting. Um, any other symptoms I'm missing? I think that, that's about it. I think that sums it up, but also we had no check engine light. So it was a bit of a mystery to us, but once we took it in, that we were super lucky to get seen by Sunnies. So if you guys, for any reason, have mechanical issues in Kalispell on your way to Glacier, hit up Sunnies. I mean, guys, this mechanic shop we were recommended to opened up a month ago and it's out of their home. They pretty much have their own farm. There's cows, goats. There's a rooster named Kevin that just walks around and we were treated like family. They just did such an incredible job. Um, they got our problem fixed quickly. They showed us the old catalytic converter that they pulled out uh, so we could actually see what was wrong with it. And they got us back on the road same day. So we are stoked to keep headed out west. We're gonna try to shoot towards Coeur d'Alene slash Spokane area today. We'll see how far we get, but back on the road, I mean, I feel like we're just living the dream right now. So we have made it a full about three hour drive over here and the RV absolutely killed it. So we could not be any more happy that now we can cruise through mountains, not have a problem. So we are about 15 minutes outside of Coeur d'Alene in our boondocking spot here. And it's just us. There's Brendan and there's Lilo. So it seems like awesome spot. Great start to the week, and now to explore Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> 